Hi, I'm James Kim, and I've been part of Young Nuck, uh, seen on a hill for 19 years. Hi, I'm Carolyn Kim, and these are our two children. It's been something that God's been impressing in our hearts for a while. Uh, it took us a while to start obeying, but we really feel, felt that God's been pushing us to really start um, a legacy of faith with our children. And I remember with my parents that they made us have family worship. And, and even though it was a struggle at times, I really appreciate what they did. They impressed in us the value of knowing God and have, having God as the center of our household. I think for me it was um, also since they started school, we noticed that um, they can be easily influenced by secular um, society. So we really want them to be in this world, but not of it. And so uh, we felt that um, it was so important, so much more important to start family worship, build a foundation of faith, and you know, keep those lines of communication open. I think we started four years ago um, when Ella was four and Eva was two. So you know, it was a challenging time, um, Ella, but Ella was just starting JK and um, you know, Eva was really young, so we're juggling two young kids, but it, we were surprised because it was doable. You know, we kept, I think sometimes it was only five minutes long, but um, we made it an event, we made it a big deal, and we said, this is family worship, um, we have to do this. This is our worship to God as a family. I have to admit, we weren't always consistent. Yeah. It was a challenge to keep that consistency, but um, we realized it's a, it's a commitment. We really had to come back and commit ourselves to doing it. And when we did, we saw really great results. The kids really enjoyed it. And, and they just started asking more questions about God that I don't think they would have if we hadn't given them that space to do so. I think about family worship that we get to pray to my own my favorite part about family worship is doing the activities and games and singing and looking at the verses in the Bible. I, I noticed that the longer you put it off, the more foreign it's going to be for the kids. And, and we want to get out of that. We want this to become a regular part in their lives. When we weren't doing it, I seen the fruits of the world coming through my children. And I didn't like that. It made me very uncomfortable. And uh, I realized we got to turn this around and we really have to get the kids back involved and, and live and breathe uh, the Word of God. We really need to have uh, Christ in the center of it, center of our family. So having this devotion, it, it always keeps our mind on Christ because we're planning ahead for it. We're getting the children excited about it. So that always keeps it in the forefront and it, it encourages us. I can see that they are developing a relationship with God even at such a young age. And, um, and they love Him, they have so much to express to Him. Um, and there's so much we can learn from them too in their innocence, in their purity, um, and in their, even in their passion to praise. They love to put their whole bodies into it and um, their whole beings into it and I think we can learn so much about that and um, so it's been a real joy for me to see um, the children really respond to the Word of God and, and I see it you know um, like seeds planted in them and to be rooted in him is he's part of our family and he's always going to be in the center of our conversations and uh, I want them to know that yeah, Jesus is real and He's living and He's living with us and He's here with us. So I want them to know that throughout our journey in life that, that Jesus will always be with us.